Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 12 in the series of 20 videos on the topic of ratios and proportions. 12th one in the series of 20, as I said. And today is our lesson number 127. The problem, as you see there on the blackboard, is already there. Let's read the problem together. Once I finish reading it, once I have read it, I want you to pause the video at that point. I insist that you do the problem yourself. Only when you have the answer, then and only then, I want you to resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. Do not give up. Try it. It's a little bit tricky, but do it on your own. You will get more out of it if you struggle with it a little bit. Here's the problem. It says that in a solution, in a solution, the ratio of liquid a to B to C, apparently there are three liquids, A, B and C. In a solution, the ratio of liquid A to B to C is 3 to 60 to 100. We are told the solution is then altered. We are going to alter the solution in such a way that the ratio of A to B is half and the ratio of A to C is doubled. So whatever the ratio, initial ratio of A to B was, we are going to half it. Whatever the ratio of A to C is initially, we are going to double it. We are told further that the final solution, the final solution has 600 cubic centimeter of liquid B. How much, how much of C must we have? If the final solution, we are told, contains 600 cubic centimeter of liquid B, in that case, how much of liquid C must we have in this scenario? Answer choices are 200, 250, 400, 500, 1000. I'm going to be quiet now, and I'll give you five seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video. I insist that, do it, that you do it yourself first. Alright, here we go. The key, the key to a problem such as this one, whenever we have more than two variables that you have to manipulate, if, there, if, if more than one thing is changing in the problem, right now here are two things are changing. We are changing the ratio of A to B and we are changing the ratio of A to C. If there are more than one thing changing in the problem, listen very carefully, not just in this kind of problem, not just in this problem, but any, any problems in the future, when there are more than one variable being changed, don't try to do everything at once. Do not try to do everything at once. Keep everything else constant and manipulate just one thing, one variable. Once you're done with it, move on to the next one. If there are three or four or five changes, do each change separately, individually, keeping everything else constant. And then ask yourself at the end, what sort of adjustment do I need to make to make all the pieces come together? You understand? The adjustment that you will have to make at the end after we have changed the concentration of A to B and then the concentration of A to C, finally the adjustment that we will have to make is to make sure that we observe this constraint. The constraint is that at the end we must have 600 cubic centimeter of B. That's the constraint. So we'll make the adjustment at the end such that, well, let's take a look at it here. So we start out with A to B. That's it. A to B, we are told, is half. A to B is half. Here is A to B. Okay, I'm going to take my A to B. We are told A to B to C is three to sixty. It is three to sixty. Instead of three to sixty, the concentration has to be altered so that the ratio of A to B is half. A to B is half. So instead of three to sixty, instead of having three parts for every sixty parts, we have to have one and a half parts for every 60 part. That's one way of cutting it in half. Or you can have the three parts as we had before, but instead of 60, we have to have 120. In both cases, in this case and in this case, we have, what we are showing here is that the ratio has been cut in half. Instead of three out of 60, we have three out of 120. Or instead of three out of 60, we have one and a half out of 60. Either way, it's fine. We are done. That part is done. Let's move on then. We are further told the ratio of A to C, ratio of A to C, let's, let's do it in a different color so we can at least have some visual cues. A to C, A, A to C, is doubled, is doubled. What was it before? A 
to C. It was 3 to 100. 3 to 100. 3 to 100 is double. That's very easy. Let's make it 6 to 100. I'm going to go back to the black marker because I don't like this one the way it is writing. It, it's going to double. It's going to instead of 3 to 100, it's going to be now 6 to 100. It has doubled. You see the ratio has doubled. A to C is double. That's it. We are done. That part is all done. Now we have to make sure that we have 60 cubic centimeter of liquid B. Where is B? B is right here. Okay, pay attention. This is where the things are going to get prickly. We have to pay very close attention. We need to make this 120 into 600. We know 12 times 5 is 60. So let's multiply this amount by 5. If we're going to multiply this amount by 5, we need to multiply that amount by 5. So 3 out of 120 is same as 15 to 600. That part is done. Now we have now we have 600 units of B. Okay, stay with me the story as I said before. Since we have 600 units of B here, that part is finished. But in order to have 600 units of B, we must have 15 units of A. We must have 15 units of A. That is not what we are showing here. We are showing 6 units of A. 6 is, 15 is what multiple of 6? We know 6 plus 6 is 12 and then half of 6 is 3 which means 6 multiplied by 2 would only be 12 but 6 multiplied by 2 and a half 6 multiplied by 2 and a half will give us 15 which is this A guy which is right here. That's it. This is 15. Since we are multiplying this by 2 and a half we must multiply this by 2 and a half. 100 times 2 and a half is going to give us 250. Voila. This is our A, this is our B, and this is our C. The question was, how much of C must be had? We have 250 of C. The answer is B. Answer is B. So, here I'm going to present to you, here I'm going to present to you the initial situation and the final situation. And what happens? A to B to C. I'm going to squeeze it in here. The initial situation was 3 to 60 to 100. 3 to 60 to 100. And the final situation that we're presenting here, this is, this is how you check your work to make sure that everything works out fine. We have 15 of A. We have 600 of B. And 250 of C. The work that we're doing right now, the work that we're doing right now would be a sheer waste of time in the real exam. You understand? As far as the real exam is concerned, we are done. How much of C do we have? We have 250. That's it. This is just for learning purposes, okay? So, so stay with me in this story. Pay attention. What the hell is what's going on? We were told that A to B is halved. Initially, we had 3 to 60, okay? 3 to 60. Well, follow my, follow my uh, cues here. Follow my pens here. It's 60 here. If, it's 60, if it goes from 60 to 600, if it goes from 60 to 600, it should go from 33. It should go from 3 to 30. It should have been 30. It should have been 30. If you go from 60 to 600, we have to go 3 to 30. Had that been the case, then the ratio of A to B has not been changed. It's the same ratio of A to B in the final situation as it was in the initial situation. But it is not 30. It is 15. It has been cut in half. It has been cut in half, just like it says here. Similarly, similarly, we are told that A to C has to be double. Well, let's take a look at A to C. A to C was three out of one hundred. If it's three out of one hundred, and if you go from, if you go from, let's see how many, if you go from here to here, if you go from three to fifteen, that's five times the amount. It's five times the amount. Three to fifteen is five times the amount. We should go. We should have gone from one hundred to five hundred. One hundred to 500. In that case, in this scenario, ratio of A to C has not changed. 3 times 5 is 15 and 100 times 5 is 500. In this scenario, a ratio of A to C has not changed. But instead of 500, we have 250. We have 250. We have, we have two 250s. Therefore, we have 5 times as much of A. We have 5 times as much of A but only two and a half times as much of C. Only two and a half times as much of C, which means we have twice the amount of A in the solution as we had before.
compared to C. It has been doubled. Well, I was about to close the video. I was about to close the video. Tell you what, before I close the video, why don't I give you a homework? We'll do it tomorrow. A new problem. Okay? Here's, here's the homework for tomorrow. Ratio of A to B to C is... A to B to C is... This is the homework for tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. 2 to 5 to 7. 2 to 5 to 7. 2 to 5 to 7. We are told that the ratio of A to B is... We are told the ratio of A to B is... Doubled. We are further told that the ratio of A to C is... The ratio of A to C is tripled. We are told that if the final solution, if the final solution has 30, 30 milliliter of liquid B, how much of C must we have? One more time. One more time. We are told. Okay, I'm going to want to make sure that I don't make any boo boo. In a solution, the ratio of A to B to C is 2 to 5 to 7. 2 to 5 to 7. The solution is then altered in such a way that the ratio of A to B is doubled and ratio of A to C is tripled. If the final solution contains 30 milliliter, 30 milliliter of liquid B, how much of C must we have? And the answer choices are... Twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty, and forty-two. That's your homework. Do it yourself. Follow the same logic, same pattern, same rationale, same method, and you will arrive there. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.